All right, so here's the question for you and for me. What do you do when you feel like that you have fallen behind, way behind? How do you talk to yourself? How do you deal with the situation? Well, I can tell you I've dealt with it poorly. Right now it's five o'clock in the morning. I have a paper that's late. Well, multiple papers that are late for school. And I don't know what to do about that other than just keep working at it. But with this whole coronavirus thing, things are just bananas. Like, my schedule is shot. I already had issues with time management and I already had issues with like procrastination. Like I already had a bunch of problems. This is not helping. So what do you do? Um, I know what I do. I beat myself up. And then I put off things that I need to do because, well, it's been so long and I'm already so far behind. Like, look over here, you know, Reddit or, I don't know, YouTube or the news app on my phone. There's so many things that are calling to us and to me too. You know, I look back over the past few weeks and I think to myself, man, there's these times that I could have just here and there done something to push me forward. But I didn't do that for whatever reason, whether I was afraid of the results that I was putting out or whatever it was. You know, I can't be the only one that feels that way. So I just felt led to put this out here to the world to tell you that if you feel this way too, you're not alone. And something that I had to tell myself is that you only fail. There is no, there is no failure. There's only feedback. And you only fail when you quit. So if you're not quitting, you're not failing. Feed, failure not something that you should fear because failure just gives you feedback on how to do it right the next time you know we um if you're a believer if you're a christian you are a child of god and my son right now is learning how to walk and it is really really cool to see you learning how to walk. Yeah. And I'm not here to judge him when he falls. I'm not here to to make him feel bad saying, oh, I can't believe he fell. I'm just excited when he takes like a little bigger step to get to me. I think it's really cool. And as the son of the creator of the universe, the adopted son, or a daughter, if it's you, you have a father in heaven that loved you enough to send his only son to come on this planet, walk the earth, to take our place on a cross so that we could be adopted into the family. That's a pretty big deal. That's grace. I don't deserve it. Nobody deserves it really, according to Paul. But, you know, we have refrigerator rights in heaven. How amazing is that? So when you're having moments like I'm having, you're just like really screwing up and you're just
just like falling way behind. And you're like, man, I should just give up. Don't, don't give up. Yeah, life is hard. It is. But as long as you're breathing, there's still hope. As long as God gave you one more day, there's still hope. So, I want to encourage myself and you too that in this time where I've fallen so far behind that I don't feel like I could ever catch up. I'm going to write my professor and just be honest and be like, hey, is there a way I could even pull a C out of this for semester? Because there's no way I'm going to pull an A and I don't really see me pulling a B. But I just have to have faith that God's got it. Because I don't got it. Not even a little bit. Anyways, um, grace, right? Grace means favor that you shouldn't have, you've not earned. I know I haven't earned God's favor. That's why it's grace. And if God can give me grace for the stupid things I've done in the world, then I can do it for you too. Take care. God bless.